I'm Travis Volk and I'm here in Homer, Alaska. Just returned back from a 12-day sheep hunt which we concluded in seven days. We headed up into the Chugach Mountains, a restricted access unit since 1975, closed to foot access only. It's known for having great genetics but low sheep density. And what you're going to see in the, as an outcome of this video is something you've never seen before. Saddle up and welcome to the pain game. God for the bug shirts. <laughs> I believe I brought his bug shirts. But uh, we just broke out a tree line. We got about halfway to go and uh, we're making really good time. Mud trick here. <laughs> got packed up. Beautiful campsite last night. We're getting ready to head back up. Another big day of climbing to get into position for hunting. We have, uh, I actually misspoke yesterday. It was the 7th and today is the 8th. We have one more day of scouting and then the season starts on the 10th. So you can see we're lucking out and getting some great weather. It's absolutely beautiful. Happy to be in Alaska. So we've been making our way around, trying to get up back on the backside of this far ridge. And uh, Jason spotted four sheep back up in that black cauldron up there. So we're getting heat mirage. It's hard to tell whether they're rams or not, but it's good, really nice to lay eyes on sheep. on second day afternoon. Jason spotted those rams way up on the face of that far red zone. We came from way around the corner and we're crossing over into another valley right now. Really beautiful. It looks like sheep country. Just a matter of bumping into it. into I think about a third or fourth valley we've crossed into. Hopefully we'll lay eyes on something today, the day before the season starts. I'll tell you what, there's some, one thing you may not have thought about was how much sun exposure you can have in a place where there's no trees. But it's a good problem to have. See about three 
pretty band of views, which is exciting. And uh, we're starting to get down into a spot that we were wanting to get to, with, with the exception of having spotted a ram before. <laughs> but, uh, looks like we're going to stay in Alaska rather than the crossover into Russia. <laughs> well, we've, we've gone a long ways, but uh, I think we've got to be getting lucky here soon. Sun's up. Had a little rain last night, but we've been really lucky on the weather. So we're moving over into a uh, drainage that the guys have seen rams lots of times in the past. So we're, we got our fingers crossed, but it's opening morning. If we see something today, we should be able to shoot it. So game on. We may have just spotted our first ram, so we're going to back off and try to get the scope out and get a better look at it. We don't have any visibility into the back side of this uh, big gorge, so we're going to try to jump down into the brush to actually hide ourselves and get around and make sure that there aren't additional rams up on this side that are going to bust us. But uh, now that we've spotted something, it looks like it's close. It's hard to tell from down below. But uh, now we just need to work it, I guess. So good news. Exciting first morning of hunting season. It's Brushes just ripped my shoelaces off. And uh, we had to get down into the shrub in order to stay out of sight of that ram. But uh, walking through this stuff is so tiring. Just grabbing a quick snack. I'm gonna try to climb one of these peaks, which is somehow straight across the gorge from that ram. Chase doesn't think it's close enough to shoot, but we'll see when we get up there. Do you know, have you found it? I have. There's a, uh, let me see. Going from the black hole where the one ram's at, that cave. Yeah, to the left. Yeah. And then there's a weird split rock right on the ridge. We've, we've located two good rams, but uh, now the, something I didn't expect is our challenge is that they're so high up on the cliff that we're going to have to watch them and see what they do and hopefully get into a position where we can try to move in to take a shot because right now even if we could climb down in to get a shot on them there's no way we can recover them going up from the hole it's like if you start out at the top of that little concave and you follow the left hand and jog it yeah and you fall see that first big split
Can, can you shoot him off at that point there? Yes. Okay guys, you ready? When he turns... I just did not think it was going to happen, you guys. Today we were we were way out down over here somewhere. We spotted those sheep out on that cliff. 1,000, 1,200, I don't know how high the cliffs are. 1,000 feet easy though. Jace basically told me, you know, we're going to have to wait him out. Maybe the weather will push him off. And we just got this instinct as one started to step out and feed that we had to make a break for it. Busted all the way around, made a huge monster climb, and we just knocked down the sheep. Who knows what it's gonna look like when we get down there? It just fell, I don't know, 4,000 feet, 1,000 feet to I its. I think he fell into that scree slope not too far down, so. Yeah. Hopefully, I think I've seen some things flying off and way around. <laughs> I think Jeez. that was a rock. Dude! <laughs> you guys, that was the toughest hike in I've ever had in my life. I mean, there, there are two other people that I know that could do that. We just hiked four days, four days, eight to 12 hours a day with 55 pound packs. Now we gotta try to figure out how to pack out this animal on top of it. Out here. So, I didn't think it was gonna happen, but it just did. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Man, I really appreciate it. We left you uh, last night after uh, taking this awesome trophy and I just want to prepare you for what you're about to see in the video. Um, it's quite gruesome. The when the sheep fell, you know, the unthinkable happened. They actually must have hit a rock just in such a way that a, it actually severed his head right off his body. And uh, we were able to recover all the meat, which is positive. Um, we're actually cleaning up a little bit of the ribs and stuff and that got really hammered in the fall but uh, for the most part we've got everything that you would expect to take off the sheep to um, haul out with us but what you're about to see is something that's that I've never seen before in all my years of hunting and uh, I think it's too intense not to show it because it's a unique and uh, pretty powerful outcome and in, in Kind of the observation of watching the sheep fall but uh, if you're have any kind of weak constitution or think you may not want to see it I say move on and stop the video now. The head was about 30 yards above the body when we found it. We're gonna hasten things up. <laughs> it looks good. 
Yeah. Looks real good. They're going grill style, huh? We're going to try to grill them. <laughs> and, uh, that'll be better for the ribs anyway. Yeah. I think that'll hasten things up. I don't want to burn them. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Well, that'll heat them so up. I'm so excited for the real food. I can hardly stand it. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's hot. That's amazing. Ooh. Ooh. I still can't believe we did it. Yeah, that's good stuff. Good job, buddy. That's a, like a perfect spot. We might just do like one at a time. They on actually that. look a little more cooked when you grab them. Like they're firmer than I. Yeah, they're they're getting there. I'm gonna put a little more salt and pepper on them. One period of time. Well, we got soaking wet on uh, the first day hauling out the meat. We're uh, we're making it though. We probably did a. I would guess we made it a third of the way out today. Would you guess that? Yeah. About a third of the way. Two more days. We're definitely anchorage. What is back at Moose's too? Pizza and beer. Pizza and beer, the Kiwi says. <laughs> I'm, thinking, his mind. I'm thinking about halibut and salad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 